Hello Aquarius, welcome to your next 24 to 48 hours tarot reading. Uh, this reading may or may not be your story. Take or resonates, leave the rest behind, and roles can be vice versa. And I started to pull cards and my battery died in my camera. And I don't feel like switching the battery right this minute. So I switched over to my handy dandy iPhone to finish recording the last two readings that I have to do. So anyhow, um, what, I, what I pulled was, and I'll remember the roles could be vice versa. And if you'd like a private reading, do see the description box below. All my information is there. And don't forget about my $50 reading uh, for a half hour session with me, my Halloween special. Okay, you got healing a broken heart. Okay, so there's some kind of healing that needs to take place here, Aquarius. And you got the witch. The witch um, that creates magic. Uh, there's my uh, ring light getting in the way, the reflection. But she creates this magic around herself. She does a lot of ritual, spiritual work. And I feel as though that there is some work that needs to be done on yourself. Some healing work. Let's see where this is going here. I'm sorry, I'm adjusting this tripod here. Sorry about that, Aquarius. Okay, let's see where this is going. Because my table's set up for my camera. Okay. Let's see. We have the Lord of Skulls. This is uh, making progress. Something solid, stable, but slow, slow, steady progress. Okay. And we have the Daughter of Grails. Okay. This is a lot of self-reflection. And making progress towards self-healing. Uh, you might even be having somebody come in to offer you love. Um, somebody that is going to may even help you heal. Help you forget about the broken heart. Yeah, golden opportunity. Ace of Grails here. Somebody's coming in with an offer here. Aquarius, somebody's coming in with an offer. Okay. We have the three of staffs. This is ships coming in. This is waiting on something. You may have been waiting patiently for love to find you again. Queen of knives. Uh, but you've been scorned. You've been hurt. You're analyzing things. You're seeing truth and clarity. Um, <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius yourself. But I feel like this is more your energy. You're looking for some justice. You're looking for this. Um, somebody that will challenge you mentally. If that resonates. But this queen is being very patient. She's waiting for the right opportunity. She is hurt. She's been trying to mend herself. And she's patiently waiting for those ships. It's like I'm not selling, settling for just anybody. I've been hurt. I've mended. Some of you may have already went through this period of mending. And you're in a process of manifesting but you're wanting to manifest the right opportunity. The world. You could be connecting to somebody across the world even. That just came through. But this is a cycle that is coming to a close. Um, and you're looking at this world. You're looking at this completion. You're completing a cycle. You're completing a phase. Um Ten of scepters. Uh, let me see your ten of scepters to grails. Okay, so uh, you might be connecting with an Aries here. Um, 
you're not carrying this is no longer carrying the burden of the past there's a new opportunity at love with the emperor um you might be a little bit defensive but this is something that you have manifested here uh you're taking your time to think about it but they're coming in very strong because they want to offer you their cup okay let's see where this else this is going here Okay, what is this, Lord of Grails? You're not, you're in no hurry. That's what I'm, big thing I'm getting, you're in no hurry. Okay. We got the Queen of Swords again. We have the Moon. And we have the Queen of Swords. You're not dealing with lies and deception. I feel like that you're in a space where you're not kidding yourself anymore. You're um, you're thinking with a very, very clear mind. You're not dealing with deception. You're not dealing with bullshit. Okay. At some, because somebody had left you out in the cold. Left you hanging. Somebody just left you hanging there, left you out in the cold. And so this queen is still looking at this. So there still might be some healing that is needing to be done. And I think you're working on it. You're getting there, but be prepared. There is some kind of offer coming in, but you're still in this queen of swords energy. Okay. We do have king of bats. And we have the King of Imps. So, this gets the th plot thickens here. You might have multiple suitors chasing after you. That is why you're sitting in this Queen of Swords being very analytical. Because, and because you're analyzing things. you got two, two people coming towards you. And you're, you've manifested this. And you put this manifestation out there. And all of a sudden, now you're getting these offers coming in. But you're waiting on the right offer. Okay. Um, we have the Ten of Ghosts. This is that happy family. So happiness and completion is coming to you with success. So you are going to find the right opportunity. The right opportunity is beckoning. It is coming. Knight of Bats. It's coming in very quickly. Nine of Imps. So this is an accumulation of energies here. Um, but you are definitely the Wounded Warrior. Somebody's coming at you really quickly. Out, It's like somebody coming out of the blue. This is a surprise. They take you off guard. And you don't like to be um, taken off guard or surprised. So you might, I think that you're going to be a little bit defensive, a little bit standoffish right now. Because, uh, I'm hearing everybody's coming to you at once. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, I want somebody in my life. Yes, I want the right situation. I want that happily ever after. But let me breathe. You know, that's the energy I'm getting. Okay, we had the two of bats and it showed up in the reverse. So I think by the time it all is said and done, it's like you're, op I feel like you're opening up. You might be defensive at first, but you are opening up because it's going to, this is like a fate. It feels like a faded connection. Um. There's people that are going to be competing for your attention. You might feel a little bit overwhelmed. Some sleepless nights. What do I choose? I definitely want that commitment. But I don't want it to fall on my face. I don't want everything to fall. I don't want to, I don't want everything to crumble. I want something solid. I want a solid foundation here. So you have all these romantic gestures coming. 
a lot of a lot of things coming towards you and you're examining them all you're seeing things with truth and honesty and you're tr and with all the information present you're you're investigating um you are trying to make a good judgment call here you're trying to make some better choices and you are waiting it out so that you could choose the right one that is the best fit for you wow 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 aquarius okay that's what i have for you bye